This is JT Daniels. He is maybe one of the best high school quarterbacks in high school football history as he put on an absolute clinic in his football career at Modern Day High School, one of the best football programs on the high school level in the entire nation. He was a five-star in the 2018 recruiting class and only played three years of high school football since he reclassed to that same 2018 recruiting class from 2019. He was destined for greatness. He was expected to be the next big thing at USC. He was expected to be the dog at Georgia. And the guy who was going to save West Virginia football in 2022. Fast forward to current day and JT Daniels time as a Mountaineer as a starting quarterback could be up. As in a game versus Oklahoma, he struggled mightily and got benched for the second half where his backup quarterback Garrett Green led a comeback versus the Sooners and was ultimately the deciding factor of that game to make West Virginia win. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about what's going on with JT Daniels. Before I move on, remember to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Now let's get into it. To start this video off, I'm going to be talking about JT Daniels and his high school football career at Modern Day. At Modern Day, JT Daniels was an immediate starter as a true freshman. And you got to know that Modern Day is one of the best programs in all of high school football in the nation. And they play in one of the toughest divisions as well. They play some of the best competition in the state of California. And he was starting for a powerhouse of high school football in, of Modern Day as a true freshman. He was already known as an 8th grader, gaining some traction in his college football recruitment. But he really started to take off once he got to Modern Day. As a true freshman in 2015, he threw for over 3,000 yards, had 33 touchdown passes, compared to only 4 interceptions. You wouldn't have known that he was a freshman by the way he played. In his high school football career at Modern Day, he threw for 12,014 yards, threw for 152 touchdown passes through the air, 14 interceptions, and had a total of 13 rushing touchdowns. This was only in a three-year span as well. He was originally in the 2019 recruiting class and would ultimately reclass to 2018 so he could get to college faster. Some of the biggest years that he had in modern day was as a sophomore in 2016 and 2017 as a junior. As a sophomore in 2016, he threw for nearly 5,000 yards, 67 touchdown passes through the air compared to only six interceptions. However, some say the year that was his best was in his junior campaign in 2017, where he picked up most of his accolades from his high school career, throwing for over 4,000 yards, 52 touchdown passes, compared to only four interceptions, while also rushing for over 500 yards and accounting for a total of nine rushing touchdowns. In this year of 2017, he was the Gatorade Football Player of the Year, Max Preps Football Player of the Year, Glenn Davis Award winner, and a USA Today All-USA High School Football Team member. As a recruit, JT Daniels was one of the most highly coveted players in the nation. In his original class of 2019, he was rated as the number one player in the nation according to rivals. But once he reclassed to the 2018 recruiting class, he was still one of the top players, a five-star, the number 16 player in the nation, number two pro-style quarterback, and the number two player in the state of California, according to the 24-7 sports composite rankings. He held a lot of offers from some of the top schools in the nation, but would ultimately decide to stay home and go to USC. When JT Daniels got to USC in 2018, he was in a quarterback battle with quarterbacks like Matt Fink and Jack Sears. JT Daniels would ultimately come out on top of this competition and become the starting quarterback right away as a true freshman for USC. This made him the second true freshman in USC school history to start a season opener. He had a lot of hype heading into the 2018 season since he was one of the best quarterbacks in all of high school football and high school football history, in fact, while also being someone that was supposed to be a senior in high school during the 2018 season. Instead, he was a true freshman. He won the starting job. And with all of that, people expected a lot out of the former five-star quarterback. When looking at his freshman campaign in 2018, USC as a team wasn't the best. They went 5-7, and seven, and JT Daniels had his fair share of ups and downs. He had some games that weren't great, and he had some games where he showed a lot of flashes. In 11 games played, he completed nearly 60% of his passes, threw for 2,672 yards, 14 touchdown passes, and 10 interceptions. 
It wasn't necessarily as great of a year as some people were expecting, but you do have to keep in mind that he was supposed to be a senior in high school at this time. Going into his sophomore campaign of the 2019 college football season, a lot was expected of JT Daniels going in, as he had a full year of starting experience under his belt as a true freshman in 2018, and people thought this was going to be the year that he put it all together and really broke out for USC to become that USC Trojan quarterback legend. And honestly, in the first game, it looked like he was on pace to do that. As in two quarters, in one game played versus Fresno State, completed almost 74% of his passes, 215 passing yards, one touchdown and one interception, and had an entire half to play. However, this is where things would go downhill. In that same opening season game for his sophomore campaign versus Fresno State, JT Daniels would end up getting sacked in the second quarter, tearing his ACL. And just like that, his sophomore campaign was officially over. Just after one full quarter of football and part of the second quarter. To nobody's surprise, JT Daniels would end up redshirting the 2019 college football season. However, at the time, nobody thought that game would be his final game as a Trojan for USC. The player that had to step in for JT Daniels was his backup Keaton Slovis, and Keaton Slovis ran away with the job once he finally stepped in as the quarterback. 12 games played, completed 72% of his passes, 3,502 passing yards, 30 touchdowns through the air compared to only 9 interceptions. He had a great campaign and truly broke out on the scene. And with the emergence of Keaton Slovis, JT Daniels would end up entering the portal after the 2019 college football season. Daniels would end up transferring to Georgia. He wasn't an immediate impact player from the start, as he was originally a backup, but he was also coming off a torn ACL and surgery, and did get with the team only during the summer, so he didn't necessarily have the most time to acclimate himself with the team, or get to know the playbook right before the 2020 season started. Now, he did get to know the playbook very well, and once he became the starting quarterback for the Bulldogs, in the four games he played in, JT Daniels, Georgia fans were very pleased with JT Daniels' performance in 2020, as the quarterback play before him in that same season was very inconsistent and not the best, to say the least. And with him bringing a light in the offense and showing the potential that he had as a quarterback, showing people what he really is about, People were excited, and Georgia was going to be a top team heading into 2021, and people thought JT Daniels may even lead Georgia to a national title game, and maybe, just maybe, even win it. Going into 2021, there was a lot of high hopes for not only Georgia as a team, but JT Daniels as a quarterback, as everyone thought this was going to be the year that JT Daniels really put it all together and became one of the best quarterbacks, if not the best quarterback in college football. People thought he would be a Heisman contender, would make it to the national title game, and become a first-round pick in the 2022 NFL Draft. But if you know the story of UGA football in 2021, the team, yes, they would end up winning it all, beating Alabama in the national title game, and coming home with the national title trophy. However, JT Daniels wasn't the starting quarterback in that game. JT Daniels, who had a lot of hype going in the season, would end up injuring his oblique early on, and Stetson Bennett, his backup quarterback, played very well. And of course, when JT Daniels came back from injury, he would play some, but Stetson Bennett was playing at such a great level it pretty much became Stetson Bennett's job, and JT Daniels got demoted to quarterback too. Not necessarily because of play, but Stetson Bennett was playing that well, but a lot of fans were not happy to see that. JT Daniels ultimately ended his season with a total of 72% of his passes completed, 722 passing yards, 7 touchdowns and 3 interceptions in only 5 games played. After the 2021 college football campaign, JT Daniels would end up entering the transfer portal for the second time in his college football career. This time, his next destination would be in the Big 12 with West Virginia. The announcement of this transfer to West Virginia was very big news, as JT Daniels was more than likely going to have the starting job no matter what, 
right when he came into West Virginia. As that quarterback position, it was very unknown, with Jarrett Dahey leaving the program, and the 2021 West Virginia Mountaineers, whose offense wasn't the best, especially at quarterback play with Jarrett Dahey, and this was going to bring a quarterback that was experienced had a proven track record of being a good quarterback, especially when fully healthy, and people thought this would make West Virginia a sleeper team in the Big 12. However, West Virginia and JT Daniels' season for 2022 has not exactly gone as planned. West Virginia is 4-6, and six, one of the worst Big 12 teams, and they have to win out if they want to make a bowl game in 2022. And JT Daniels, in 10 games played, hasn't exactly lived up to the hype or played at his best level that a lot of people were expecting him to play at, as he's completed 61% of his passes, has thrown for 2,107 yards, 13 touchdown passes through the air, and 9 total interceptions. And not only that, but JT Daniels' job for the rest of 2022 for West Virginia could be in some real jeopardy. As these past couple games for the Mountaineers, JT Daniels has been struggling, at Iowa State, he was 8 of 22, completing 36% of his passes, 81 passing yards, 1 touchdown, and 1 interception. And most recently, versus Oklahoma, he really struggled, and when he was in, the offense was completely stagnant. He even got benched in this game for his backup, Garrett Green. He completed 58% of his passes, 65 yards, 0 touchdowns, and even 1 interception. On the other side with Garrett Green, once he got into the game versus Oklahoma, that West Virginia offense finally got life and they would end up coming back and winning that game 23-20 to on a game-winning field goal. And you have to give a lot of that credit towards Garrett Green as he made that offense have some life and really made the place electric in a must-win game. He didn't have the best passing numbers, 54% of his passes completed, 138 passing yards, one touchdown, but on the ground, 119 rushing yards, 8.5 yards per carry, and two total touchdowns on the ground. In back-to-back -back games versus Iowa State and Oklahoma, JT Daniels has been outplayed by his backup Garrett Green, and you really have to wonder, is he going to be the starting quarterback for the rest of the season? especially when JT Daniels hasn't exactly been playing at the best level, and Garrett Green has really brought this offense back to life. Now, what's really going on with JT Daniels? Why is he not having the season that everyone thought he was going to have in 2022 with West Virginia? And in my opinion, there's a couple reasons. The biggest reason is offensive line play for West Virginia. West Virginia doesn't really have that great of an O-line, and JT Daniels is simply not a mobile quarterback. And when he's constantly getting pressured, he's at his worst, just like a lot of other quarterbacks, and JT Daniels simply just doesn't have the mobility to be a great quarterback, to be his best under an O-line that isn't that great. While Garrett Green, on the other hand, his best part of his game, it isn't passing. It's running, it's being elusive, and creating plays with his feet. And that goes perfect with the offensive line that West Virginia has right now. Currently, it's unknown if JT Daniels is going to remain the starting quarterback for West Virginia for the remainder of the 2022 college football season. And honestly, something to keep an eye out for in this college football offseason is if JT Daniels enters the portal for the third time in his college football career. And I say that because maybe West Virginia, they go with Garrett Green instead in 2023. We may see JT Daniels enter the portal for a third time. Well guys, if you made it this far in the video, drop something down in the comment section below. Do you think JT Daniels is going to remain the starting quarterback for West Virginia for the rest of the 2022 college football season? And before you head out, remember to smash that like button, turn on those post notifications, and subscribe if you haven't already. B. Kelly out.